It's another day without classes for Chicago Public Schools as teachers and school administrators can't come to terms on resuming classroom instruction. Glenn Marshall's here with the details. Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Now, we heard from both sides on this issue yesterday. However, what wasn't said was if there's an agreement to this solution. Uh, well, there was an agreement on a solution to this problem, I should say. Now, Chicago Teachers Union is not budging on its demands, but the city isn't either. It's planning to resume classes tomorrow one way or another. While city leaders were preparing for a press conference yesterday, CTU members gathered near Union Park voicing their own concerns. We are very clear in what we are requesting, safety to stay open. They're telling us COVID-19 has created staffing shortages after many teachers have called out sick, forcing conditions that are not conducive for learning in the classroom, which is why they're pushing for remote learning. Our children were being warehoused in cafeterias, auditoriums and gymnasiums. They were doubled up, tripled up because our instructors, our paraprofessionals, our clerks, our paras are homesick. At City Hall, CPS CEO Pedro Martinez said only 10% of the 21,000 plus teachers were in school buildings yesterday. The city is still leaning towards what local medical experts are saying, and that is schools are safe. As negotiations continue, city officials are standing by getting CPS back to educating their students this week. The goal is for schools that have the staff is, is we would like to have academic activities on Friday. That is the goal. And the question is, will that be in person or remote learning? CPS says some schools with enough staff could be open for in person instruction on Friday. Now, bargaining will continue today, but we do know both sides do agree on something, and that is more COVID testing is needed, which is a problem across the city. Back to you guys at the desk.